Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda! Got a two-headed Gliak right in the uh, second dungeon there. So basically, if you have four hearts, this is really easy. If you don't even have the white sword, this is going to be a lot harder. That's... Well, I got him anyway. Hooray! So yeah, stab its head a few times, and voila, there we go. We get the second piece of the tribe. But now I'm gonna well, just keep on going in order. Let's just head to the level three. It's another relatively easy dungeon. So let's just head on back to the start there. Now, some things on the world map have changed actually in the second quest. Not much. I think there's only, if I recall correctly, there's only three screens. I think they actually changed on the overworld map. So it's not like a totally new overworld. It's just things are in different places. That's all. It's mostly the dungeons that have really changed things up. So let's uh, use our power bracelet to move that rock there. And we got some warps here that'll take us all around the overworld and stuff. I want to take this warp, so that way we can heal up for the third dungeon. There we go. Nice little fairy. Or sprite. Whatever they... Pixie? I don't know. Whatever they call them in this version of the game. I always call them fairy. But, whatever. So, I mean, just warp up here. Now, uh, level 3 is actually where level 2 was in the... Uh, the first quest, but they've changed some things around, so I'll get to that in just a moment. Oh, come on! How do they keep on hitting me like that? I mean, what, just because my boomerang was still out? Now I need that, uh, another heart. Oop, there we go. And now no one drops any hearts. I just hate having, like, that one heart missing. There we go. Ha! Okay, now if we go up here... What the? How are we supposed to... What, what did they... How did they change something here? Well, it's just like level 7 in the first quest. So, just uh, bring out your recorder. And we can enter level 3. This one's also a fairly easy dungeon. Let's, uh, bring out the enemy bait here. Love using the enemy baits. Here. Stay. Let's just, uh, let all of those losers fight over food while I just annihilate them. And they can't do anything about it. Hey, go for- oh, right, I was gonna say, go for the food. There we go. Now, the boss is actually just in that room to the right there. If you wanted to go there, you could, but I'm not gonna. I wonder if the bait works on these guys. Probably not. Yeah, the ropes have changed a little bit too since uh, the first quest as well. They're uh, flashing for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't really change a whole lot about them. They're just, they just take more hits to kill. I would have thought, like, if they're flashing or something, they'd be, like, I don't know, invulnerable or something, but, uh, well, I guess apparently not. Let's, uh, get that enemy bait it back out again. Let's, uh, try to get all those guys over there. Whoa. There we go. I'm probably not going to be able to keep my full hearts. Nope. Oh, well. As long as they just sit there and let me annihilate them, that's easy enough. Watch out for the staff pulses. They can throw the, remember, they can throw their swords at you. They're not nearly as easy as they were before. Well, they still take the same number of hits, but... Well, you know what I mean, viewers. Uh-oh, not again. I really hope I have enough money for the next dungeon I want to go to. But, yeah, you gotta use the uh, enemy bait to get through that guy. And, unfortunately, there's a lot more of those uh, Grumble Grumble guys in uh, the second quest, so you gotta watch out for that. I'm gonna have to take out these pariahs the old-fashioned way. I almost said moblins, but now that wouldn't be right. 
that's uh, another enemy. For some reason, I, I just always get Garayas and Moblins mixed up. And for defeating them, we get the magical boomerang there. So let's just head on back to the start there, and now let's go after the boss. Can I defeat them with only three hearts? Let's find out. How hard could they possibly be? Out of my way. There we go. Let's blow them up for boss time! Whoa! Wow, that didn't work? Nuts. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna need a lot of bombs for the next dungeon I wanna go to. I want these two to get out of the way so that way they don't, uh... Yeah, just get them horizontal. Just like my girlfriend. There we go. Ah, easy enough. Okay, down here. Okay, yeah, I want to make sure I've got full bombs. Hopefully, this room doesn't have bubbles in it. Good. It's like every time I want to fight these... Ooh. Every time I want to fight these guys, they got to put some bubbles in the room, so that way I can't use my sword on them. Because if I can, as you can see, they are relatively easy to deal with. Yeah, thanks for putting wall masters right next to the entrance of the dungeon for a change. Well, it does make life easier, so... Whoa, I only got one key left? Oh, right, there's gonna be, uh, another one. Okay, I'll be fine. Never mind. That's one reason why I went to, uh, level two, because I'm gonna need more keys. That's... Ha! I don't think I've ever killed that many enemies at once. Oh, there we go. Yeah, make sure you, uh, keep on holding on to those keys. Yeah, dungeon so far, pretty short. Next dungeon, not so short. But, uh, well, we'll get to that soon enough. Let's see, I want to have 160 rupees. Uh, I, I can probably pick up the next 20 on the way, or before I need to actually spend them. I mean, I'm going to have to spend 60 now to get my enemy bait back. But, uh, I'll be fine. How did that guy take three hits to kill? Maybe I must have been looking at a different Moblin or something, I don't know. But first things first, we gotta buy more enemy base. And I desperately need money, so I'm gonna be taking my time killing all these guys. Okay. Less showing off, let's just kill the enemies. There we go. One thing that's interesting with the projectiles is that, for some reason, if you're, like, on the very edge of the screen, projectiles can't quite reach you. But, uh, these guys can. There we go. Maybe if I can kill more of those guys. I'm gonna be using that screen a lot, so... There we go. Move. Move. Ha! There we go. Link is a ninja! Believe it! Well, I don't need another blue ring of death, but I do need more enemy bait. So, er, meat, steak, whatever, I don't know. Meat steak. As opposed to vegetarian steak. How does that even work, anyway? I'm not a vegetarian, I'll be honest with you. Guys. Although I don't really eat that much meat to begin with. Just, I'm not against it, I just not a vegetarian. So, now we're gonna start going through the dungeons very much so out of order. So, let's go this way. Now, in order to get to this dungeon, well, you're gonna need the, uh... Uh, what is it? The le step ladder. Whoa. Wow, these guys are fast. I thought I was a ninja. There we go. Fortunately, they do have a tendency to drop hearts. So does... Zora's, usually. Oh, right, I can't swing my sword from over there. That's... Oh, well. Let's see, I think it's this one? No, wait! Uh, I could have gone into the dungeon. I don't think it's here. I think it's on the next screen. Nope, nope, it's the next screen. Okay. I lost count. Damn it. Oh, well. Get in there! To level 8. Alright. 
And I'm already getting a little low on bombs. Oh, crap. These guys. These are red bubbles. And they can permanently take away your sword, unlike the uh, bubbles from the last uh, quest there. New enemy. Uh, the only way you can get your sword back after being touched by a red bubble is to... Well, there's a few ways. You can... Uh, what is it? Ooh, bombs. You can touch a blue bubble, or you can uh, go to a fairy on the overworld, or you can use your potion. I think that's the only, those are the only ways you can do that. So your whistle will not help. You see there's a uh, blue bubble. Let's wait for it. There. Well, if only I had an item that could allow me to kill those guys without having to use my sword. But sadly, I do not. Please don't come after me. Thank you. Well, so far, I'm doing a pretty good job of uh, killing those guys. But now we have the magic wand without the book this time around. So let's show that off. Basically, it's the same thing as the white sword. As far as damage goes, but now I don't have the uh, the book to get in my way, so it's actually going to be a little more powerful for me than it was in the first quest. So that's pretty nice. But will I have enough bombs to defeat all the Dodongos in this dungeon? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.